a woman in hell for oral sex with husband. Gabriel saw a woman in hell, who had practiced oral sex on her husband, in doing so, she had insulted God, and demons were torturing her, the demons were cutting her tongue and her mouth like butchers are cutting meat, the pain was great and it was difficult to speak, she was asking Jesus to allow her to come back on earth, she said that if her husband wanted her to perform that act, she would not do it again, she said, my pastor did not tell me that was a sin, women in hell for being on top of their husbands during sex, the women who are climbing on top of their husbands to have sex with their husband underneath them are in hell, a warning for Christian married couples, that the Lord showed also the same thing to brother Olugabin Gualdio, in a written transcript of Gabriel's testimony, he indicated that the Lord sees the woman on top position the same as lesbianism, the Lord told brother Oldio that his children are confused, so they must be warned about these sins that are taking them to hell, so they will not perish, he visually showed him these people's sins on the judgment screen and audibly warned against married couples masturbating on their beds, looking at pornography, oral sex, trying different styles of sexual intercourse to spice it up, such as doggy style penetration from behind, and various positions, including the wife on top so called rocking horse, cowboy, or cowgirl positions, and hanging your wife, a type of domination and bondage position, involving tying her down, intended to simulate rape, he said the only position that is holy in God's sight is the face to face position with the husband on top. The scriptures the Lord gave the pastor were first of all Isaiah 33 verse 14, which says, The sinners in Zion are terrified, trembling grips the godless, who of us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with everlasting burning? He said that hell is so terrible that once you see it, you will not ask any questions, if they told you to stand up for the rest of your life, you would never want to sit down again if it meant you would avoid going to that place for eternity, the second scripture is Isaiah 24 verse 4 to 5, which says, the land suffers for the sins of its people, the earth languishes, the crops wither, the skies refuse their rain, the land is defiled by crime, the people have twisted the laws of God and broken his everlasting commands, the Lord said there are ordinances in the scriptures about relations between a husband and a wife, and his children have violated these ordinances, Adam knew Eve for one thing, as he taught in both videos, the scripture says, then Adam had sexual intercourse with Eve his wife, and she conceived and gave birth to a son, Gen 4 colon 1 a, it does not say Eve lay with Adam or that Eve had sexual intercourse with Adam, or that Eve knew Adam, it was Adam who knew Eve intimately, if you doubt whether this can be used to teach us as married couples how to have sexual intercourse, then let me remind you of the passage in Genesis that Jesus used to teach against divorce, when the Pharisees came and asked him whether it was lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any reason. He asked them what Moses commanded, they replied that Moses told them to give her a certificate of divorce, and they seemed to view that as God's commandment about marriage and divorce, however, Jesus corrected them and said, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh, what therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Jesus went on to tell them that the reason Moses permitted them to divorce their wives was that their hearts were hardened, he said, but from the beginning, it has not been this way, and I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for immorality, and marries another woman commits adultery, so just as Jesus used Genesis 2 colon 22 24 to teach against divorce, he is also using Genesis 4 to 1 to teach us how to make love to our wives. The husband is the head of the wife, secondly, the word teaches us that the husband is the head of the wife for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the saviour. He is supposed to love his wife as Christ loved the church, not lust after her, he is supposed to take the lead in the relationship, including in the marital bed. His wife is not supposed to be the aggressor or the one taking the lead, she is the responder to his love. The man is the image and the glory of God. Thirdly, 
in Brother Oldio's video warning to married couples who practice oral sex, he stated that the Lord told him to say, Men are my image and the men are my glory. Men are the glory of God, and every time God is looking at you, he wants you to continue to promote more of his glory, if you now change the glory of God into something that is corruptible, into lust, into immorality, the Lord said you will not make it into heaven, the Lord said, if you are doing oral sex, you are not coming to heaven, and the same goes for other immoral acts you do on your bed, do not do these things, it is evil before the Lord. The scriptures the Lord gave him with regard to this were, a man ought not to cover his head since he is the image and glory of God, but the woman is the glory of man, men exchange the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like a mortal human being and birds and animals and reptiles, Brother Oldio said the Lord told him he should tell you that if you change the glory of God to look like a corruptible man or to look like birds, or four-footed beasts, you are not going to come to heaven, you are changing the glory of God into dogs, goats, cows, animals, and into creeping things, you are committing immorality, it's a great sin, it doesn't matter if you are a pastor, bishop, or archbishop, you are not going to make it. Do not change the glory of God into anything on your matrimonial bed or you are not going to heaven, the missionary position the only one holy, fourthly, it is well known what the missionary position is and why it is called that, for the reason this past I explained, missionaries of old who taught their converts about true holiness would teach them that in the marriage bed, face to face with the husband on top is the only position that God has sanctioned that is a landmark or boundary stone that was laid by people before this evil generation was born that you and I who live today are a part of, that was a boundary stone, we have moved that stone so we could try new things to fulfill our lusts, we need to ask for the ancient paths, I realize that many will balk at this teaching, saying it is unbiblical, however, a recent research article on penile fractures published in the medical journal, Advances in Urology, stated in conclusion, our study supports the fact that sexual intercourse with woman on top is the potentially riskiest sexual position related to penile fracture, the study examined the cases of 44 men who attended three hospitals in the city of Campinas, Brazil for suspected penile fractures, 28 fractures were sustained during heterosexual intercourse, 4 during homosexual sex, and 6 after penile manipulation, 14 were in the woman on top position, which was the most common position, 8 were using doggy style with the woman on all fours, and 4 in which the cause remained unclear, half of the patients reported hearing a cracking sound and experiencing pain at the moment of injury, all of these cases were treated on an emergency surgery basis, 2 of them later suffered from erectile dysfunction, following the injury, and 1 of them was treated by a penile prosthesis. The reason given in the report for the woman on top being the most dangerous position was that, when the woman is on top she usually controls the movement with her entire body weight landing on the erect penis, not being able to interrupt it when the penis suffers a wrong way penetration, because the harm is usually minor in women with no pain but major in the penis, on the other hand, the report stated, when the man is controlling the movement, he has better chances of stopping the penetration energy in response to the pain related to the penis harm, minimizing it, therefore, medical science has actually confirmed the wisdom of God's ordinance concerning the missionary position, as well as the risks involved in using other positions and practicing penile manipulation, the marriage bed must be kept pure, fifth, it says in the Bible, marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral, you can defile the marriage bed by acts you commit by yourself, acts you commit with someone other than your spouse, acts you commit using pornography or other property of Satan, and acts you commit with your spouse, the things the Lord has warned us against in this revelation, some of which I mentioned in the opening, are considered acts of immorality in God's sight,